This is Daryl from Michigan. My number one winter fishing tip for you is don't ever leave home without your spoons or your blade baits because you will catch everything on them. Hey guys, this is Josh from Colorado. And my tip for winter fishing is to make sure you know the difference between safe ice and bad ice. Safe ice is clear ice. Bad ice is cloudy ice. Loud ice is good ice. Quiet ice is bad ice. Thanks, guys. Guys, big fish always go for deep cover. Laydowns, big trees, all that. Go for it. Winter fishing tip from Jeremy Baker. Deep water, fishing slow. Patience. Hey folks, uh, Alan Freeman with 10 Point Outdoors. Probably my best wintertime fishing tip is going to be downsize. Uh, when it's, you know, starting to get cooler, the fish are starting to get a little more lethargic. They're not wanting to run around as, and feed as much. Something smaller will, uh, will a lot of times trigger that bite, especially if they're schooled up out deep. But uh, downsizing and slowing down your presentation is probably the two biggest things, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I'm in central Alabama, so we don't get super cold winters down here. But, uh, yeah, just slow it down, downsize your bait. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is uh, I love flipping. So in the wintertime, yeah, I still go out and flip docks. But I, I flip with a smaller tungsten weight. Uh, I go from generally either a half or a three-eighths down to uh, like an eight. So it gives it a little bit slower descent. It's a little harder to flip, but you know, once you get your real fine tune, you can you can make it work pretty good. And uh, smaller creature baits uh, are even uh, in the wintertime. A lot of times, I'll flip a uh, one of the small Senko style baits, and uh, just uh, downsize, slow down your presentation, and hopefully that'll get you a few more bites this winter. Hey, this is Ken from Mississippi. My winter fishing tip is. I go a little different than everybody else. <clears throat> I don't use drop shot really, don't use Ned rigs. Uh, I tie on a blue and chrome rattle trout. Let it sink all the way, well, all the way to the bottom and then kind of burn it across the floor, kind of skip it a little bit. Uh, I've had good reactionary bites from that. Caught some good fish this winter with it. Uh, in Mississippi, we have pretty mild winter, so our water temperature never really plummets down into the 40s, low 40s, 30s. It stays, you know, the coldest I've seen so far this year was 48 degrees. Uh, so we're a little bit different down here because our winters are just so mild. Uh, but that blue and chrome rattle trap, I've used it several times and I've always had good luck with it. There's my winter fishing tip. Hey guys, Jordan from JREL Fishing here in upstate New York. My Titan Tungsten winter fishing tip for you is to always have some sort of GPS with you. You know, safety is number one. Whether you're on a boat or on the ice, you want to assure yourself that you're going to make it back safely. You know, the, the weather can change drastically. Um, you know, a blizzard could roll in for whatever reason. The weatherman was wrong again. and you know, you can get mixed up in a hurry and put yourself in a really dangerous situation. So whether it be your cell phone, a secondary GPS system, or what have you, you know, you got to make sure that it's fully operable, the battery's charged, it tracks where you're at, and all of those those good things. Um, so again, my Titan Tungsten winter fishing tip for you is to carry a GPS. Hey, Philly here from Illinois. I'd like to offer a tip for keeping your rod guides free of ice this winter. Carry a can of Pam cooking spray with you. Spray your guides every 30 minutes or so, and it'll keep you ice free. Believe me, it works. I've been doing it for 30 years. Hi, my name is Riley Welch I'm from Northeastern Pennsylvania. And my number one fishing tip is to fish slow and to be consistent. So I guess it's kind of a two for one deal. I guess. So with the fishing slow part, I love to throw either a finesse jig or a little Ned rig. Now I like those because they're smaller profile. They're not big enough to scare away the fish and they're a nice easy meal. The fish can come in and slurp up if they're hungry. And with the consistency part of it is going out there, trying new baits, doing different techniques, 
working the baits different. Uh, just use the baits you have um, available and just work them different, work them different. Um, but make sure you're fishing them semi-slow. Last year I was throwing a backstabber crankbait that only dove, I think, three to six feet, and I was working it like a jerk bait, and just letting it float to the top, and those fish are coming up and hammering it. So I guess it all depends on what those fish are feeling like and where your area is. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, spring is almost here. Just hang in there. Soon we'll be throwing top water and catching some big old pigs. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Good luck. Go catch a donkey. Hey, guys. It's Derek from Missouri. Here to give you my number one tackle tip for winter fishing. First thing I'm going to do... Take one of these Ned Rig hooks. I'm gonna stick a peanut butter and jelly finesse worm on it. I keep them stocked by the bundle. Even one of these rattlers. They'll do the trick for you. Get that thing on the bottom, just work it slow. It's gonna be magic every time. Don't forget, go Team Titan. Hey, this is Chris from Southwest Missouri. My winter tip is on your baits, retrieve them nice and slow because due to the temperature, the fish, the bait fish are a little bit slower in movement. So if you're using like a jerk bait, give it two poles, wait 10, 10 to 20 seconds, give it in there two jerks, see if that helps you out. You can also do the same with a jig. Drop it to the bottom and just retrieve it nice and slow because the movement's going to be slower due to the temperature. Good fishing. Hello, my name is Kerry Lee. I'm from Southwest Missouri. And my favorite wintertime tip would be most of the time your bass are in deeper water. Um, so I like using a darker jig, watermelon color, uh, black and blue. Um, sometimes depending whether, whether there's a lot of brush or not, I'll put a trailer on there that matches. Um, sometimes I also use a white Kitek swim bait with an underspin. Um, and also, never go by yourself in the wintertime because that's dangerous because usually you got lots of clothes on and if you fall in, that ain't good. So have somebody there with you. And as far as fishing goes, if everything else fails, there's always Long John Silvers. Hey, my name's Donnie. And my tip for winter fishing is wear the proper PPE. Yes, I come from a large automotive industry. PPE is personal protective equipment. That's for fishing, that is. Got to have enough clothes and wear gloves. That is my personal PPE. Fishing tip of the day. Thank you. Hey, Titan Tungsten. So, my best uh, winter fishing tip is to go out there... Buckle up, it's yours. Yeah, sorry. Um, my best fish, my best winter fishing tip for you guys is to stay, don't stay in one spot. Always keep moving around. Always keep moving around. Don't stay in one spot. Keep moving because the winter time, like right now, we're going up to go fish for lake. These perch and walleye that we're targeting today are going to be roaming our flats. So never stay in one spot. Always keep moving and looking for them fish and always try new lures. Always keep looking for your fish. That's my best winter tip for your lakes. Ty and Tungsten, out. Hey guys, so what I'd like to tell you, uh, you can look here and see that not only we got cold weather, we, we got muddy water, lots of rain. My deal is find the reaction strike, get you a couple reaction strikes, then take, slow down, give your presentation, keep it in front of them, get that bite. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, guys. This is Kerry Lee. I'm from Southwest Missouri. Um, we're lucky enough here in Southwest Missouri to have several fisheries to go to, uh, Tabarrock, Bull Shows, Stockton, Grand, um, tons of all different kinds of fishing, crappie, walleye, bass. My couple things that I like to do in the wintertime is uh, uh, find the fish. Most of the time they're in deeper water and congregated around brush piles. 
Um, if you can fish uh, around the edges or get set up to the right angle, I like to use a heavier 3 8 or so, uh, uh, one ounce jig, uh, usually in a watermelon color or a, uh, an Okeechobee crawl, blue and black, uh, Bama bug, something like that. And if you're not throwing around the, uh, around the uh, brush, you can put a trailer on there, a watermelon red, or like I said, an Okeechobee crawl. Uh, something else I like to use is a uh, four inch Kitek with a three eighths or ounce head with an underspin. And uh, you can throw that around your rocks. Uh, if you're fishing in deeper water, give it about a five or six count. Let it sink and then just really, really slow. Um, also, if you're fishing up around docks, uh, you want to use a spinner bait, usually a heavier spinner bait, um, with a number five or something, a big Colorado blade. As big as you want to throw, throw it on a heavier line and uh, let that thing sink down to the bottom if you can, if there's no lines or, or cables and find a dock that's got wooden uh, planks that go in or wooden uh, planks on your ramps that goes out to the dock. They hold heat a little better. Uh, if you get in there on a sunny day where the sun's hitting that side of the dock first thing in the morning or later in the evening, fish around that place is where the sun's hitting it. Fish have a tendency to congregate there where it's, where it's warm around those poles. But the whole key to all of them is low and slow. Throw it down there and, and just reel it real slow on those spinner baits. Feel that Reel it slow enough that you're feeling the thump on that on that spinnerbait. And like I said earlier, if worse comes to worse, there's always Long John Silvers. But my number one tip to also, too, in the wintertime is don't go by yourself. If you fall in that cold water, you're in trouble. But anyway, I uh, hope this helps out. I also want to put out there to, you know, the reason for fishing in this wonderful sport is God's made this all, all possible. And I want to also thank the good Lord for what he's done for us in our fishing. And I just hope everybody has a great time. If you get a chance to take a kid with you and go fishing. God bless you all and tight lines.